Do you think libraries are still relevant in Singapore today? Well, with digitalization and books being widely available on the internet, are Singaporeans still going to public libraries? Well, today let's explore some of the nicest libraries in Singapore and hopefully we can find the answer to our question. Let's go! Oh yeah, FYI, this is one of my favourite manga artists, uh, Junji Ito. He writes like amazing horror stories and yeah. There are 30 public libraries in Singapore and the first one that we are visiting today is Ishun Public Library, located in the north of Singapore. Apparently, this library had a major facelift and reopened in 2018 with the team going digital. It has virtual bookshelves housed on mega screens and also learning pods which are equipped with an interactive screen for users to access to e-learning materials like Tech Talk. Here's what I think about it. You know, I think it's quite cool to see like some elderly or older people using like the library resources to read the newspaper for example like the big tablet that they have but i noticed that like, in the digital ports well it's a digital learning zone it's not many people are using the like the digital learning stuff rather they are just like in the ports you know studying uh doing their own thing that is the magazine corner. Do you think there are still people who watch us CDs? Feels like nobody watches CDs anymore. Now that we have seen the digital library, how about the sustainable library? Well, apparently Chuachukang Public Library, which reopened just last year after a two years overhaul, is built around the concept of sustainability. Oh my god, I think this is one of the most unique libraries that I've been to. Like they have like a hydrophonics station right in the library, can you imagine it? And yeah, it's really cool. Like they have like flowers, they have like uh, kale and like all sorts of plants in these hydrophonics stations. Yeah, so in front of me you can see like this like green roof exhibition area. So what they do is like they have the whole roadmap of like the different areas uh, of the library that you can visit from like a community wall to the hydrophonics uh, showcase to the adult zone and then the indoor garden and stuff. So apparently this library was inspired by nearby farming communities and was built around the concept of sustainability. So first of all, I really like how the library is uh, designed. So you can see like many vegetables, corn, like even like carrots and stuff like that, like just around the library. It makes this whole library feels kind of like a farm. And I really love the indoor garden. Uh, they have a variety of plants and yeah, I really love it. And I think this library is designed uh, in a way that's very close to nature. And yeah, I hope that this library can inspire young children and adults alike to be more interested in the farming community. So we have seen a digital library and we have seen a sustainable library. But how about a library with a nice view? Welcome to the library at Harbourfront. Opened in 2019, something special about this library is that it's set against the splendid view of Sentosa. Can you imagine sitting here, reading a great book and seeing such a great view? Just look at these people enjoying the nice view of Sentosa here. I found the same pots that were in Ishun Library and enjoyed a TED Talk video. I realised however though, that digital resources like these are severely underutilised. The port has become yet another place for people to sit and use their own personal devices. Also, it seems like people were not really reading or using the library resources, but rather they were using the library as a place to do their own work or study. Just look at the number of people studying in the libraries. And the same applies to the next library that we are visiting, Tampanese Public Library, a 5 stories 11,000 square meters public library which opened in 2017. So apparently this library has like a 200 seaters auditorium, an indoor playground, a running track and also a culinary studio. And look, this library is right beside a football field. Look at this. Okay, I can't enter because this playground is only for children but wow, just 
just take a look at how big it is. Oh my god, look at the book drop. This book drop actually moves, look at this. Oh my god. Oh, online says that walking through this library will help me accumulate like 7,000 steps. So okay, let's burn those calories. You know, I think if you ask me like why I think the library makes such a great place for studying, I guess it's because of like the air condition that's number one because Singapore is really really hot and also the conduciveness it's so quiet here the library provides chairs and tables for you to like sit down comfortably and study and they also provide charging ports best of all it's free so you know if I'm a teenager with not much money I would totally come to the library to study which was what I did 10 years ago I ended my day by visiting NLB's Make It, where people can try 3D printing, 3D pen, and other crafting tools for free. I made a handphone stand with my 3D pen. So yeah, this marks the end of my video. It seems like the libraries in Singapore have changed a lot and will continue to do so. Also, I noticed that many people go to the library to do their own stuff instead of reading or using the digital resources in the library. It makes me wonder, like, are the efforts put in by our Singapore government to renovate and renew the libraries in Singapore even worth it? Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, to answer my question at the start of the video, I would think that libraries are still very much relevant in Singapore. I think this is because the library still serves its function as a common environment for people to go there and learn. And I think, even if people don't go there to read or use library resources, at least they go there to study, and that improves the education level of our nation as a whole, right? So let me know what you guys think about the libraries in Singapore, and do subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you! Bye!